Hey crafty friends, Jen Cassell here. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's the first, it's my favorite day of the month. I get to show you guys the fun dies from Scrafty with Designs. Ah, you're gonna love this release as much as I do. So this is the website. I'll link it in the description box. All of her info right here. Make sure to use that coupon code Jen10 for 10% off your purchase at the shop. Also, make sure you're using that hashtag Scrap Diva Designs for some amazing inspiration, not just from the members of her design team, but if you're using those dies, use it too. I love to see what you're creating. I'm going to start small and I'm going to start with the flower circles. So you get two of these, you get one small, one large, small is uh, just over three and a half, your large is going to be about four and a half and then these all have layering pieces to them this is the large one that i created super cute um i could see this as a frame around a picture if you're a scrapbooker i also thought this would be really cute with the circle die box that came out last month it would fit perfectly right inside that little frame and then we have the small one here love and I did double these up. Like it's a really thin cut. So if you're not using extremely heavy, heavy paper, it's going to be a little on the um, flimsy side. So my suggestion would be to uh, double these up. This one, I used a pattern paper on top and then I did some basil on the bottom. Uh, and it made it a pretty sturdy piece. Uh, this one, I just did two layers of basil to it. And this is actually like pretty thick. Still staying small, we're doing these jam jars. Super, super cute jam jars. It is a shaker. So much fun. I do have some examples for you. You're getting two. Sorry, these dies are a mess. I've been busy crafting. So you're getting two with these. You've got a small and a large. Your large right here. Love, 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 love. Uh, so there's several pieces to it. You have the shaker portion. You have the back portion. You have this little mason jar lid up here. And then you also have a double layered la um, label in the center for it. So lots of fun. Your large is going to be uh, just over three inches tall and um, just over two and a half inches wide. Here's your small. I left this one kind of plain so you could see it a little better. This one, um, super, super cute, and I didn't do the double la layer on this, but you're looking at two inches wide by two and a half inches tall. Super cute. Next up, we have the bunny bows. Once again, you get two different sizes with this. You get a small and a large. Of course, I do have some examples here for you. Love how these turned out. The large one is going to be just shy of three inches by two and a quarter inches tall. Your small is going to be uh, just over two and one and three quarters inches tall. This next one is the suitcase shadow box. This one I don't have an example for. I'm really sorry. Uh, I didn't, I just didn't have time to get to it. Uh, but as you can see, I kind of pulled it out and I'm ready to play. So you will be getting an example of this very, very soon. We have the Easter ribbon slider. And this one, you're going to get this large piece right here and then you have two of these pieces my suggestion don't take these apart and I'm going to show you why in my example so keep this together and then keep this as just your your backup frame so this is what they look like when they're put together so uh it is a stamp and die set here is the stamp set that goes with it you get easter greetings hello spring have a happy day you crack me up bunny kisses seek and find he is risen and let's go hunting. So this is what they look like here. Lots of fun. And as you can see, you want to keep those together so you have that opening in the center. And then I did stamp these up. I did use this in another project, so you're going to see another example of this coming up. Another one that I don't have an example for. You know what the worst part is? 
I had an example for this and I can't find it to save my life. I did a little Easter card with it. Oh, well, I will come up with something new, but this is going to be a hot one. I've, I've already seen a couple people do this. Uh, super, super cute. Uh, it's one of the tile word Easter's and I've seen people cutting it apart so that you've got your mini album that kind of flips through. Um, even though I did do the card and I don't have it, um, I, I did make this a shaker. So a shaker is a, is a possibility with it as well. Um, you're going to be seeing this very, very soon and I bet you it'll sell out really quickly. So you're going to want to run over and get this. Got the bunny doily memory decks. So stinking cute, you guys. I have an example. So here we go. Oh my goodness. I love how this turned out. So look at these adorable little bunny feet. I did this bow with the scalloped ribbon or the scalloped bow from the um, heart mini album. It is hands down my favorite bow. I have been playing with this nonstop. So, and I believe that heart mini album is in stock. I'd get it for the, I mean, not only is it a cute die, but I would get it for this bow alone. This bow is my fave. Love. So you also get the two bunny feet. Absolutely adorable. You, of course, got the doily background for your shaker. Um, and, and you can just use this for the doily, too. This is a great doily to have. It is about four inches. And then here's the back. You can see a better view of the memory decks itself. This collection that I'm using is one from Creative Fabrica. I'll link it in the description box if you like it. It's it's really, really cute. I love it. Uh, there are some of Scrap Diva's flowers on here. Whenever I get new collections, I do a whole bunch of bows, a whole bunch of flowers, because I use them on every single project. So I like having a few of them in stock. And when I grabbed some Easter collections last weekend, I went a little crazy with the flowers and the, and the leaves and I just... I really wanted some pastels to just have around. You're going to see the little whiskers in the back. The whiskers do not come with the die set. Uh, the whiskers were part of the shaker bunny that came out last year. You also get this Happy Easter. I didn't end up using it on my um, sample. And then I also did it in foam as well. So you can kind of see how that. Uh, looks when put together. Okay, next up, we have the Loaded Pocket Medium, and then we also have the Loaded Pocket Large. Now, I did not do the Medium. Um, they're pretty they're pretty similar dies. Each of them come with a heart. So this large one, you get this scalloped heart right here, and then you have a layering piece for the center. And it does come with the tabs for it to make it a hanging element. Uh, on this one, and I'll pull it out, the extras in the medium are a little different. So you're still getting that pocket. And then you're also getting, you've got like a cute almost like tabbed keychain style scalloped heart. You've got this gorgeous key. You've got a little lock right here. And then you also have the scalloped heart right here with the stitched heart for the center. You do get two different dies with this. So you're getting the doily die and then you also have this one right here. Same thing with the large. You're getting two different tags. I love that about this die. This is actually one of my favorites that came out especially this large size. As soon as I saw it, I couldn't wait to play with it. Now, I did pull the one that I did last release. So this is the February release. This is the small loaded pocket die. So you've got quite a different size right here. So the original is four and a half inches tall. This is the big one. I did share this on Instagram. Um, I am going to upload a video. It's actually coming out uh, tomorrow for this. But this is the large pocket die. And this one's a big old chonker. This one's eight inches by five. So you've got lots and lots of space in here. With this, I did use the bunny memory decks to do the feet here. And then uh, these are the 
ears from the bunny memory decks. You're going to see that cute bow again. These are just some little things that I had in my stash um, of some more of those Sakura flowers. Of course, my ever-present greeneries. Love, love, love. But this is a big, big die. And I did want to show you, this is the other um, frame that comes in there. And I'm going to give you a little clue. I have some ideas for this. I'm probably going to be making a banner because I thought, oh, flip it upside down, cute banner either way. Same thing with this one. If you're not putting the hanging tab in, that makes a cute banner as well. And you can flip that pocket if you wanted to make it a loaded banner. So don't steal my ideas, guys. I want to do it first. <laughs> and then you can do it afterward. Next up, we've got the 3D basket die, or the 3D Easter basket die. Guys, this is a lot of fun. Love it. And I do have an example for you. This is actually going to be the first tutorial that I came out with. I have a tutorial on this. Um, it'll probably be released next week. But oh my gosh. So you're going to start seeing that bunny bow. And what I did was use a different bow. I used the scalloped ears and then, of course, the ears from the bunny bow itself. And let me just show you the difference. So this one I did with the scalloped bow from the um, heart mini album. And then this is the bow that comes with the bunny bow. So it's a little different. Both are super cute. Uh, you're going to see some of the large Sakura flowers in here. I've got some of the Easter eggs from the collection. This is another sneak peek at the Scrapaholics um, Easter release. Uh, she came out with little chipboard peeps that I ended up doing some flocking on. Uh, this rainbow is from the collection. A few more flowers in here. This just screams spring to me. Um, I did end up doing the exact same bow. So you get a fun handle on this. And this handle, I just did some ribbon on the top of it. It does come with a layering piece though. All right. And then I've seen some of the design team members already do some amazing stuff with this. So I think it was Serenity Creations that used this little heart or um, the circle flower die. And I think she must have, now that I'm looking at it, she must use the small one, cut it in half and made it into loops going all around it. Super, super cute. One of the other design team members, I saw that she made this a shaker panel. So stinking cute. What a great idea. I mean, her, Erica's design team is awesome. I love looking at their stuff. So be on the lookout for this next week. Moving along, we have the Easter Bunny. So stinking cute, you guys. So I do have an example for you. Um, so fun. So this, this die set, you're going to get the bunny itself. We've got the eye right here. That's three different pieces. You've got your overlay for the ears. You've got this little bunny uh, sentiment that comes with it. Sneak peek at one of the next dies that I'm showing, one of the new butterflies. It comes with these adorable carrots. I mean, look at those carrots. So cute. You get three sizes of the carrots. You get a small, you get a medium, you get a large. This one is your large, this one is your small, that one is your medium. You also have that ribbon slider, the Easter one with the bunny kisses stamped on there. You get this grass along with the the bunny die just so cute and what i'm not showing to you also get some easter eggs with it so the easter eggs i did cut and i did want to show you so those carrots it's just a single layer die all i did was cut it twice once in green once in your top overlay i cut this portion off and then put my orangish pink on top of the green to make what you saw here Okay, and then you also get the three sizes of Easter eggs. So I did them in in cardstock like this, and then I also wanted to show you what they look like 
in pattern paper as well. We've got the butterfly bag topper, and I do have examples for you. So this one I did in the brighter colors, and I, I purposely left these not embellished so you could kind of see what they look like when they're all layered up. Large one is two and a half inches wide. Your small one is going to be two inches. Now this one I have decorated up. I did this one in the pastel colors for Easter. And then I just did a couple uh, greenery sprigs and one of the cute Sakura flowers. Just so cute. I think this is so pretty. This is a this is gonna sell really quickly. I know it will. Okay, guys, last but certainly not least, my favorite die of the set. I love this die. It's the 3D Castle. I have an example for you, but I'm going to tell you that it is not finished. So this castle is gonna come with your side piece. You've got a layering piece for the top uh, for that that edge that you you associate with castles um these are your two bottom pieces you also have the top here then you've got a couple of the windows on it and then you also have layering panels for the sides you can also use this for your acetate layer as well i chose not to do layering panels on mine so this is what i've come up with so far like i said it is not finished i am doing I'm doing a really cool project. So I don't want to, I don't want to tell you guys yet because this is going to be a labor of love. I will finish th this weekend. So hopefully I will have the tutorial out like very, very soon. So I've doubled this up. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now let me tell you a little secret. So these little faux bricks that I have on here, don't throw away the pieces from your window. I use this for the faux brick work on this tower. I love how this turned out. Ah, I can't wait to show you guys what I have in mind. So this top comes off just like this. You've got a pretty big box. Yes, mine is a lot taller than what the box should be. Um, your box, if you just kept it one layer, uh, it's going to be four inches tall. All right, so I've got an eight inch box here. And then your interior is going to measure uh, three, just about three and a quarter. So you've got a pretty generous size box here. Just so stinking cute. I love, love, love this. So pop that back on top. I just, I love how this turned out. You also have a little flag. Like I said, mine isn't finished. You're going to be seeing that little flag soon though. Uh, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I did use that layering piece on the acetate that I put inside. Love it. I love it. I, I love it. I am... I didn't even want to show you guys this because what I have in store for you, it's going to, it's going to blow your thank mind. Thank you so much for watching. I can't thank you guys enough for all of the love and support that you guys show. So head on over to Scrap Diva. The new dyes are live right now. Uh, they will sell. You know how it is. Her dyes sell out quickly. And this is a great release. So you're going to want to get over there. And if you're there and you like what you saw, use my coupon code GEN10 to save 10% off at the shop. Uh, check back. I can't wait to show you some of my ideas for this. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more crafty content. I'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye.